As I continue with my project, you can see that I then added the shape of New Jersey. I made New Jersey a smart object as well, and so if I double click on that smart object, it will open as a .psb file, and you can see that here. Inside here, I also, um, if you disable the layer mask, you can see that it started as a map and I removed the background. Um, I also experimented with using a gradient map, and you can see inside this file that I used a purple and black gradient map to create this cool effect. And as I was working, I really liked it. But at the very end of my project, I decided that I wanted to do a gradient map on the entire project. And so I came back and I disabled that, but I left it there just in case I ever want to get back to it. And when we close that file, you can see that when we come back, I've added the shape of New Jersey. As you can see, as I continue to build, I've added more and more objects to my workspace. I am going to show you how I created the Philly Fanatic because that's important. You should try to include a selection of hair in your project because hair is the hardest thing to select. Out of all the selections that we are going to do this semester, selecting hair is the most important. If I go ahead and I double click on the Fanatic, you can see that I created a layer mask. I'm going to change the view to overlay. I created a layer mask on the Philly Fanatic layer that removed the original background. If I was to hit cancel here and go back to that layer and disable the layer mask, you can see that it had a background and I had to remove all of the background in order for, in order for it to be able to sit on front of the image and not look like it had a background to begin with. And so I used a quick selection kind of like this, and I just made a rough selection of the Fanatic, and then I choose, chose Selected Mass, which allowed me to then modify that selection.